Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and I want to take this time to say a massive thank you for subscribing to the channel. We've just smashed through a thousand subscribers and that's a massive milestone for me and for the channel and what we can bring to you in the future. So I hope it continues to grow. I hope you continue to watch. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Hi, this is Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we're checking out the Crash Guard NX for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. So this is a bumper case for your iPhone 12 or 12 Pro and Pro Max and Mini probably as well. And um, this goes basically around your around the outsides of your iPhone and um, it won't protect the back or the front. Uh, if you want that kind of protection, you probably want to look for another case. But I bought this from Rhino Shield because basically if you need to use MagSafe in any regard, such as a car mount um, or a desktop um, stand or something like that, the any sort of form of case, including Apple's, doesn't really do a decent job of holding onto the phone. Um, you might have seen in my reads some videos that you basically can't mount it on a magnetic mount without it slipping off. You really need to attach it to the back. And there's a couple of videos on YouTube of people using the Apple silicone covers and it's kind of falling down from that too. So bear that in mind if you want to really utilize MagSafe as your sort of charging solution. And um, the crash guard doesn't have a backing, so that completely rules out any problem there for wireless charging with MagSafe. And um, you've got the bumper uh, around the phone itself to protect it if you drop it. And it's got a small lip on the back and front as well to uh, protect it if you uh, place it onto the um, surface of the screen or also if it falls onto the back of the phone as well, it'll protect it and its lenses too. So we've got the crash guard itself. Uh, this is the royal blue color that we'll be putting on today. I thought it'd be the closest fit for the Pacific blue color of the iPhone 12 Pro. And I'm gonna uh, match it with a few accent accessories that you can also get from Rhino Shield. The first accessory is the uh, frame or rim that goes around the back of the case. It doesn't go around the front of the case. Uh, we'll be telling you how to install that shortly. And we also have um, custom buttons as well. I wanted to check this out, see how it all fits. You get all the color, the same color buttons with the actual crash guard itself. You don't have to buy these unless you really want to uh, customize it with additional colors. So when we get it fitted, you'll get to see how it all looks there. The Rhino Shield frame itself retails for about $16.99. And um, there are a couple of um, promotions that you can um, pick up and get a few pounds off there. The frame itself um, is just over two pounds and the buttons of one color only is about um, one pound extra. So all in, including shipping, this, this cost me about 24 pounds. Again, it's quite steep, but it's roughly in line with case prices generally for the iPhone. And um, it also gives you the ability for MagSafe. So, Let's get this installed and see how well it fits. Right, so we've got the Rhino Shield here and we've got our iPhone uh, 12 Pro. And uh, let's just get this uh, installed. Let's just open up the packaging. As you can see, you just get the actual crash card itself, nothing else in this quite large oversized box. Let me just check that there's nothing else. Okay. So you do get a few extra bits. So you, you've got a uh, installation kit for the cover on the back. If you do want to uh, apply um, some protection to the back of your phone, um, nothing there. Uh, you also get uh, a light manual on how to install uh, the various pieces that come with the actual crash guard and also how to install the crash guard to the first time for the first time and also how to 
uh, remove the crash guard itself. So that's quite handy. Uh, it tells you not to bend the case. Do not use any alcohol cleaners. And it also says do not use the frame alone as a bumper case. So it does recommend that you use the uh, this frame here uh, that's on the inside. Um, it recommends that you have that. If you took that off, this probably wouldn't be as uh, solid around the phone. So we'll be making sure that that goes on last. And it's just a simple case of um, putting the screen cover on uh, then putting the frame on in place. So we'll first install the Royal Blue case on its, on its own and then we'll show uh, the accessories added afterwards. It tells you to make sure that you fit this frame uh, through the inside of the case, not to apply it on the outside. Um, it's already installed, so are the buttons. So all it is, they tell you to is to place uh, the bottom of the phone in first and then bring it over the top and there you go simple as that um, it's not really rocket science on uh, installing a bumper but um, that is it you've got um, actual physical buttons they're almost flush uh, to the phone itself um, but um, they do stick out quite a bit and a nice uh, they don't stick out too much uh, they're very tactile uh, easy to press and um, that feels good. You've got a, a lanyard uh, port here, which I never use. I don't know why they include it in these cases, but surely people do use that enough for them to, to actually keep it on there. And then we've got uh, machine cutouts here. Uh, one issue in the Rhino Shields are that they do it symmetrically, but you can tell the iPhone 12 uh, only has a few uh, holes on this side and it'd be nice if they just close that off a little bit uh, because you're not really protecting anything there other than the screw. Uh, nice open port here for uh, connecting the lightning cable to uh, if you use a third party one with a bigger head socket. Um, some Rhino Shield branding on the uh, right hand side, sleep and wake button, nothing on top. You can see the frame uh, around here. Uh, definitely enough ridge uh, for uh, protection of the uh, lenses itself. Try and get a good shot of that. Uh, it's definitely higher than the lenses, so it's gonna definitely give you protection when you place it down. It's gonna protect the backing as long as anything is not protruding on the inside. Um, when you place it down, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, on the front, same again, you've got a good uh, lip on the front side um, that's going to protect the screen really well and the plastic is a really nice plastic it's a little um, it's not smooth it's got a slight rough edge so it's it's nice to pick up you definitely get a grip when you pick it up um, some cases are quite uh, smooth and thin and your hands slip off and also some cases don't work with the new uh, square edges of the iPhone 12 in that they're, they're kind of round and domed so your, your fingers have got less uh, surface area to, to pick it up. So a squarer edge case is definitely a lot, um, a lot nicer uh, to pick it up and uh, it's not gonna slip out of your hands. And the bumper's gonna stop it from uh, landing on the edges. And you'll also have wireless charging ability, got a MagSafe here. Uh, that's going to easily slap on the bottom and charge your phone, no problem. And because it's MagSafe, it's totally fine. It's not going to slip off because you're using it naked on the back of the case. If you end up using the uh, the back sleeve, I think it shouldn't really have much of a problem holding on to uh, the phone that way. Obviously, I'm going to lift off the, uh, the case here. But again, it is plastic, so it might... It's got a good... Uh, firm edge to there so it might actually give you some protection I'm just not a fan of uh, applying these kind of films on the on the on my stuff if I can help it so you've got a MagSafe bonus it, and you can put it on the car not a problem it's always going to attach itself and attach it securely way more than any cases will and you've got the added protection of uh, if it drops on the edges and if you want, you can buy a separate screen protector and protect the front of the phone also. 
So that's all handy. So this is the royal blue color. It looks pretty good. It matches not identical, not perfectly to the uh, Pacific blue color, but um, it's close to the actual lens uh, color actually, but just a bit lighter, a bit more royal blue, hence the name. So there is another blue that they do, but I didn't think it actually looked like a decent match for this particular, I think it's like a navy blue or dark blue, I think it is, I think it'd be too dark. Um, but I wanted to accent this with brighter buttons and a frame. So I thought I'd just get some yellow uh, accent uh, accessories just to try out. So let's get that installed now and see how that looks. So they tell you to take the bottom of the phone out. So you do it in reverse basically, and then you're out of the case, no problem. Right, so we're gonna push out all these buttons, I believe which should just pop out. So they're the buttons. And then you've got the frame. Uh, let's just apply the buttons so we can do it in sequence. So here are the, uh, the buttons that you get. You only get, you get one spare uh, small button here and you get the big sleep button here too. Um, and it's just vacuum sealed. Uh, you don't get any, any. Oh, you do get a guide of some sort on how to apply the buttons, how to remove them. Just simply push them out. Um, and uh, all the buttons, the smaller ones at least, are exactly the same. So we're just going to install that, making sure the clear edge is facing inwards. And we'll apply that one as well and then we'll do the sleep button and that's that we'll just put these back in the case and keep them all together so that's the um, accent buttons uh, yellow I think they only do one type of yellow there is orange I was going to go for but I thought blue and yellow is quite a good contrast. Uh, you can do more subtle colors if you like, or just do no colors at all and just get the crash guard on its own with the blue buttons. But I just like my phone to look a bit different. And then um, that's pretty much it for the buttons. Uh, the pressing of them will be exactly the same because it's the same material as, uh, as the stock ones that come with the case. They're just a different color. Um, just making sure that they're pushed through properly. So you can push them all the way through actually. It's probably not a good idea, but they're in. So we now do the rim. Um, let me just get this in the phone just to show you what it's like without the rim. So you've got the phone there with the sleep and volume up and down buttons customized. Same button uh, press uh, quality, which is good. And then you've got this neutral frame. So we're gonna do this next. So we're going to pop out the bottom again, and put that to the side. So we, to get the rear frame out, we need to sort of push from the outside in, almost in reverse again, just to push this frame out. So that's the royal blue um, frame. And then the accent color, which is yellow that we've bought uh, for the rim. Not much comes with this again, how to apply it um, if you haven't got the previous instructions. And then we've got, this is the yellow frame. And then we just basically the um, recessed sides facing down. We push this through the case itself so that it sits in there. Oddly, doesn't it like uh, the best fit? Oh, probably got the wrong way around, that's why. So you've got a little cut out here. So I assume that faces downwards where the lightning port is. And then this fits in. So because it's not in the phone yet, um, 
Oh, I've got this back to front, that's why. So it's this way, silly me. So you've got small little recesses there. That's why it wasn't fitting earlier. There we go, there's a perfect fit. So there's the inside room there uh, in the uh, in the crash guard and next case and um, you can see there's like a little re uh, recess there that we need to make sure that this uh, goes into and uh, then it's a, a good fit and it all it's not bowing or warping as you saw earlier so that's that uh, we're going to put the phone in from the bottom again and uh, there you go that's it done don't need this anymore and then you've got a nice accent case. It's kind of pushed it out here, so you have to make sure it clips back in. There's like a rim or ridge around the inside of the crash guard case that this clips into. So that's in there firmly now. A bit of wobble, uh, not too much, because the thanks to the harder plastic, uh, you do need this rim, as it says in the manual, otherwise this crash guard uh, case really wouldn't be supporting your phone that well. Um, and uh, there's very little chin wobble here um, to worry about. Um, again, it's probably a lot firmer than the Spigen case is, which is surprising because the Spigen has a fallback uh, case as well. So that's a really good protection there. Nothing on top, that's really firm. Uh, the buttons feel good. It's got front face support, back face, face support, and then you've also got the MagSafe uh, luxury as well, which is never going to lose any attachment issues there because it's uh, naked on the case. Right, so there you have it, the Rhino Shield Crash Guard NX uh, bumper case for the iPhone 12. Um, it's a nice solution to uh, maintain the MagSafe potential on the back uh, without any uh, degradation of the magnetic uh, effects that you get with the uh, just using a general case on the back because it just loses its magnetism uh, quite a fair bit just by ha having a case on the back. So if you have a MagSafe charger in the car, for example, you can just whack this straight on the, the mount without worrying about it wobbling and falling off if it was in a case. So you have that advantage. And then you also got the crash guard around the edges. That's just gonna protect it from general falls onto the floor uh, falls onto the front, falls onto the back. It's always going to keep your screen protected thanks to this quite uh, raised lip on the edges. Um, the case itself doesn't really make it that much thicker and thanks to its flat sides, it's um, a lot easier to pick up generally. Uh, so for about £24 all in, uh, including shipping, uh, if you're in the UK, it comes from France, I believe, via DPD delivery, so it's nice and fast. And uh, that's why it's a little bit expensive for delivery as well. So that's the Crash Guard NX for the iPhone 12 series of phones. And you can get the accessory colors in many different varieties. So check out Rhino Shield um, for more information. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you have, give us a like, give us a subscribe. It really helps us out. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.